I will show how to create an EC2 instance in AWS. I will also show how to SSH into the instance from the command line after creating it. This is the home page after logging into the AWS console. You can access the EC2 service in several ways. If you scroll a bit down, you will see a section with Build a Solution. It has some shortcuts for the common tasks we do. Click on Launch a Virtual Machine. It is the instance launch interface, and you can configure your EC2 instance. Before configuring the instance, I will show you another method to access the EC2 service. You can search for EC2 in the search bar, and the EC2 service will appear at the top. Click on EC2, and you will be taken to the EC2 dashboard. You will see information on your EC2 instances in this dashboard. However, you need to be aware that this dashboard is region-specific. I am currently in Europe Frankfurt region. So I am seeing information of instances on that region. You can choose another region and create an EC2 instance there. I will stay in this Frankfurt region and will launch an instance here. Click on Launch Instance and you will see the form to configure the EC2 instance. Give the instance a name, I will give it Tutorial Server. You can change the name later if you wish. You have to choose an OS image to install. By default, the Amazon Linux image is selected. I will choose the most popular OS for the server, Ubuntu. I can choose from here or browse from more AMIs. Search the OS you are looking for, and you will see different versions of that OS. I will choose Ubuntu. You can see which version of OS you are getting and you will get a list of other versions of that OS. So finding your desired OS is easy. You can choose your OS architecture. I am okay with the x86 structure. Choose an instance type. By choosing the instance type, you select how many CPUs and how much RAM the instance will get. Different instance type has different pricing, and check the instance type list to know its pricing. The T2 macro is a free tier eligible instance, and you can use a single instance for free for the first year. I will choose T2 Macro. You have to create a key pair to SSH into the instance. You will not be able to access the instance without a key pair, so it is very important to create a key pair. You can use an existing key pair if you already have that or create a new key pair. I will create a new key pair for this instance. Give the key pair a name, I will give Terrorial underscore server. No space is allowed in the key pair name. Choose a key pair type, ED type key pair does not support Windows instances. Though my instance is based on Linux, I will use RSA to keep it simple. I will use OpenSSH to access the instance and select PEM format. If you are using PuTTY software, you can choose a PPK format. I will create the key pair and save it to the desktop. For network settings, you have to create a security group or use an existing security group. I will create a security group. The purpose of these settings is to define how and from where you can access this instance. SSH traffic is already allowed, otherwise I will not be able to SSH into the instance. Additionally, I will enable HTTPS and HTTP traffic. It is important to allow HTTPS traffic if you create the instance for a web server. If HTTPS or HTTP are not allowed, people cannot access the website hosted in the instance. In Configure Storage, you set the hard drive space. You can increase the disk space later quickly but cannot shrink it easily. So choose an amount that fits your current need, as you can always increase the size later. Up to 30 GB can be used for free inside the free tier period. I will set it to 30 GB. In this beginner level tutorial I will focus only a little on the advanced settings. You need to check two things from the advanced settings to protect against accidental termination. Shutdown behavior should be stop which is the default. Because once an instance is terminated, all the data inside the instance is gone, and you will not be able to recover it. You should enable termination protection. It is very easy to terminate an instance with a single click. So if you enable termination protection, it will prevent accidental termination. I will show you that after launching the instance. As all the configuration is set for creating the instance, I will launch the instance. AWS will launch the instance, and after that I can access the instance. AWS successfully initiated the instance and gave it an instance ID. 
Click on the link, and you can see the instance related information. The instance state is pending and it will soon be turned into running. AWS automatically assigned a public IP for this instance. I can SSH into the instance using that IP. I will copy this public IP to SSH into it using command line. This IP can be changed if the instance is restarted. You have to use an elastic IP that does not change after a restart. I will show that process in another video. Let's go to the terminal and SSH into the instance. I kept the PEM file on my desktop and will browse to that location. Ubuntu image creates a user named Ubuntu, and I will use that to SSH. This is the command to SSH to the newly created instance, but it will give an error. It is about the PEM file being too open, so I will set 400 for the file access control. I can now SSH into the instance using the last command. I am now inside the server as we see the username and IP in the command line. It is the internal IP of that instance. I can now install all the necessary software in the EC2 instance. I have not installed any web server yet into this instance, so nothing can be seen from the web browser. If I install a web server like Apache or Jinx, we can see something in the browser. I will cover those details in another video. To exit from the server, type in exit and enter. The connection between the terminal and my instance is closed. I am back to my local machine in the terminal. I will show how termination protection works. I can set the instance state to terminate instance, but AWS will not allow me to do that. It asks for termination confirmation with the warning that everything will be deleted. I will click on terminate. It shows an error with termination as termination protection was on. To terminate this instance, I will disable the termination protection first. Go to instance settings and change termination protection. Uncheck the enable option and the protection will be disabled. You have to save the settings change. I can now terminate the instance and all the data inside the instance will be gone. I hope this video is helpful to you. I want to make a video on how to set up a web server on EC2 instance. I will put a link in the description when done. Thanks for watching and see you next.